Okay, so the chord shape you need to know that for this song, the most important one is E major, which is open E string, middle finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger on the second fret of the D, and then your first finger on the first fret of the G. That's E major. And the reason you want to play it like that is because the first chord of the song is this shape, but you only play it with these two fingers, your ring and middle, and you slide it up to the 11th fret of the D and the 9th fret of the G. And if you can, you can also grab the 9th fret of the low E with your thumb here, because this is an octave. So that's your chord. So these two fingers, you just slide them down and then put your middle finger down on the second fret of the A. So, so uh, the strumming pattern is like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 like down. The uh, little melody that's going on over this is just the G and B string. It's 16th fret of the B and 14th fret of the B. And that was, so that was 16, 14 of the B. And then 14, 13 of the G. And the other part, the banjo is going... is this is an A major 7 chord and so what it is is um, middle finger on the second fret of the D first finger on the first fret of the G and your ring finger on the second fret of the B and he's playing um, so two strums on the D and then two on the uh, B did I say D? Yeah. Two strums on the D and then two on the B. And then open B. Two. So two, two. And then you have that first fret of the G string. And then you do a open hammer on like. So. And then you just do that again. So that was the whole riff. So those are the two melodies that are going on over the main chord. And then the second part of the song, you again use this E major shape, which was this. But you instead, you have the same shape, but it's middle finger on the fourth fret of the E, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A, and then your first finger on the third fret of the D. And this is kind of a weird dissonant sounding chord, but it sounds really cool. And you go. So you have that chord. This is like a G sharp chord. You go down, up, down, up. And then you lift off your first finger. And I, this is what he's doing. I watched the, a couple live performances, and this is definitely what he's doing. He's going. And then that E minor, or E major. So. And then he, you grab this. Um, this would be like a... Um, what an F, F sharp. This is like an F sharp minor I guess so anyway like this let me just play through the whole thing and 
So what that was was this E shape on the fourth fret of the E string. And then you grab the E major. And then I use my ring and pinky here on the fourth fret of the A and D, and then my first finger on the second fret of the G. And you want to mute the low E, so like this. And then this is like that A major 7. But with an open B string, you're not playing the second fret of the B. that made sense I feel like it was a little sloppy or I didn't explain it well but if I didn't then just comment in the comments and I will clarify anything for you so thanks again for watching and I will catch you on the next one all right have a good one